Now we're going to go through a looping process and you can focus on the union all statement and then the blue down here. This is the very first loop. So we're going to actually select columns from our hierarchy table, the real table, and we're going to then join them to our derived table where the employee number equals the manager employee number and it says, you know what? Tara Tom's employee number is one. These people report to a manager one. I'm going to add those two rows to the hierarchy DT table and now we've reached a depth of one because we've said, hey, I want the depth plus one and now you can see Tara Tom's at the top of the hierarchy and he's got two employees that report directly to him. So far, we have defined the derived table, we seeded it with one row, and we did one loop with the union all, and we added two rows. Anytime it does the looping, when it gets done with that original loop, Teradata says, did we add any rows that time to the derived table? And when it says, yeah, we added a couple, Teradata goes, then loop again and it goes through a second loop and it does the join between the derived table and the hierarchy table, that's the real table, on the two columns, employee number and the manager employee number. And now it's going to add two more rows up above to the people that reported at the second level. And now we put a level of two and we're rolling. Now, Teradata adds one to the depth and says, okay, this is a depth of three. It says, did we put anything the last time? And it goes, oh, yes, we did. They go, well, then keep loop until we don't put anything in there. And it runs through this loop, joining the employee number to the manager numbers that are in that derived table. And it says, there were six of them. And it loads them all in there. And now we're almost done. Just recapping. With our with recursive, we built the derived table, then we seeded it with just the top row, and then we did the union all, and we looped about three times, each time adding more to the current hierarchy. And that's the way a recursive derived table does. There's a hierarchy, and once you establish how that joins together, it just continues to add rows to it. Well, now it's going to loop a fourth time and say, okay, Let's add again. It goes and loops and adds and it says, oh no, I didn't add any rows this time. And then Teradata says, excellent, then you're done with the looping. Now that we're done looping, we actually see the close paren and then a select statement where we pull in the information from our recursive derived table and that's what actually builds the report. Some of you will probably say, I'm going to try to write this recursive derived table stuff by hand. And that's the part you'll miss is that last close paren because think about it. We did the with statement and then we seeded our derived table. We did the union all. We haven't closed that paren yet. We did the actual join of the real table to the derived table and it loops several times and at that point, when it's done, that's where the close paren comes. And then you just do a select statement and you pull everything you want from the derived table into that report. You're done. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.